Hello, and welcome to the GBC Productions channel. This is episode 110. In this video, I will be replacing the belts on a Sony TC C5 5 cassette tape deck. Now, I've already been inside of this thing before trying to replace a couple of belts. They were too thin. I got a belt kit here, and it has all the belts needed for the carousel and the tape deck mechanism. Before we get into it, let's take a look around the outside of the unit, starting with the front here. Over here on this side, there are some switches for a timer and for direction mode and some buttons for switching cassettes and programming. On the other side here, we have basic transport controls and record level. It also has Dolby Noise Reduction B and C. On the back, it's pretty much blank, except for your audio input-output. I'm going to go ahead and get the cover off, and I'll be right back. Now with the cover off, you can see it's a 5 cassette carousel. I'm going to go ahead and take these tapes out. There's four of them. There isn't one here in the front. Now to get the carousel out, there are a couple of screws that attach the carousel to the front door. I'm going to have to power it up to get at those screws. I'm going to plug it in real quick and open it and see if we can get at those screws. It is kind of working, but the belts slip a lot. The two screws that attach the door are here where my fingers are. Now I'm going to unplug it, and it still wanted to retract. I'm going to try this again. I'll hold the door open and unplug it. Now it's going to want to close, so I'm going to hold the door open. Now to remove the carousel, there's four screws that hold some clips in place. Here's one of them that also has a ground wire on it. The front one is right there. And there's two on the other side. There's also this ribbon cable that pops right out. And at that point, the whole carousel will pretty much just lift right out. I'll go ahead and get those clips out, and I'll be right back. For the most part, it just lifts right out at this point. I did have to pull the front panel forward a little bit to get it to slide through. And here's the underside with the two belts. They're just a little thin, so they've been slipping. I also have belts for the tape mechanism here. I'll get the two belts out of the bag here. This one comes off very easily. And I'll take the other one off. So I'll go ahead and put those on, and then we'll get the tape mechanism out. Now the screws that hold it in place have arrows pointing to it, and they're from underneath. There are four screws. You pull those out. Now I just have to disconnect all these wires. I'll go ahead and do that, set this all aside, and then we can focus on the mechanism. Well, 
we'll get the new belts out here. The wider belt goes around this wheel here. You can kind of see it flopping around. Not really showing up too well. Now I'm assuming to get that belt out, I gotta remove these screws here. One, two, three screws. Now disconnect the motor here. Once I took the screws out, I had some connectors down here to undo. The new belt goes around this wheel and comes up between the two and then goes to the motor. Now the other belt, you can barely see right there, that's going to be tricky to get to. Now these two wheels just pull out. There's some more screws here, 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 here. I'll pull those out and then see if I can get better access to the belt. I had to remove the front panel here. There were a couple screws that hold this in place. So this was in like that. Once I got that out of the way, there's a little clip I had to take off of here. Very tiny. And then this arm comes off. And here comes my big oops. All the gears just fell out. Now I can get at the belt, but I'm gonna have to figure out how all this goes back together. Let me pause for a little bit. All right, it took some time, but I figured it out. Now this gear here in the middle, there's a spring underneath it. This little nub here, you can barely see it, needs to be pointing straight down. And there's a little line that this arm should be pointing to. And when this goes back in, there's a little notch and an arrow that has to be lined up. Now, as you can see right below my finger, the belt is on a little bracket. And that holds it in place until I put it back together. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but once I got it back together, I was able to go in here with a screwdriver and move the belt up, and it went right back onto the motor. Now I'm going to put the screws in and hook the cables up. Now I have those wheels back in, and I just need to take my screwdriver and pry this wider belt back up. And now that's onto the motor. Now it's pretty much back together, except for this gear right here. So I've got to take this front back off again, and then put the little clip in. Now, unfortunately, I lost the footage of the carousel going back in, but there were no timing marks for aligning it. I just set it in the same way I took it out. So I'm going to turn it on. It's rotating. Eject. It opens. Drop in a cassette. Press play. And it's playing just fine. I will eject and spin the carousel. It comes around. I'll put other tapes in.
plays one side. And it plays the other side. I just have to put the cover back on. Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.